<laughs> what up dudes? I wanted to come outside today to talk about something that I've been doing for the past five years and that thing is barefooting also known as earthing also known as grounding I've been barefoot since July 2015 so five years now I think the reason that's interesting is because I don't know anybody personally that's ever tried to do this for five years I don't know anyone that's done this for like a, any amount of time I kind of wanted to share the benefits what I've noticed about it yeah let's go sit down somewhere I'm like walking uphill and trying to talk it's not working oh, mushroom all right it's super windy today so I had to come somewhere kind of quiet and we found this new trail it's actually a mountain biking trail through the woods but uh we'll use it for now I don't think anyone's riding today so let me just read you a little thing that Google says about grounding. If I say grounding or earthing or barefooting, it's all the same thing. So health benefits of grounding. Grounding neutralizes free radicals. Free radicals are generated through inflammation, infection, cell damage, trauma, stress, and our toxic environments. Grounding improves sleep, pain management, and stress. Grounding improves inflammation and immunity. So I feel like I've changed quite a lot over the past few years, and I think a lot of it has to do with this. The fact that I've been doing this. Like, you guys know I've been doing this for a long time now. And I think it has improved my health in ways that I wouldn't really notice. So this video, I'm gonna try and break down all the things that I do notice. First off, improving my happiness. It improves my happiness because I feel connected whenever I'm outside to my surroundings. I feel like I live and breathe with the things that I'm surrounded by because I'm sharing the soil. Your skin absorbs everything it touches. So if I'm always on the ground, I'm always getting all the, all the benefits of whatever these plants are getting. I'm not a scientist. I'm just some guy experimenting with my own body. I don't really get sick. I'm not inflamed. I feel like my little toe is now its own thing, its own entity because it's not being crushed anymore by shoes. I would always have this little toe being crushed that way whenever I wore shoes, even if the shoes were like big. I feel like that's not healthy. We need all five of these things to be able to, to like climb, walk properly. I don't really know much about posture. I don't think I slouch at all. I mean, you guys can't really tell because I'm wearing clothes, but I don't think, I don't know. I can't tell if it's improved my posture at all. Let's get into the story of how this happened. So I was at a festival in Croatia. I had two pairs of shoes that I took to this festival. One pair was on top of my car drying because I got it wet. And I got back to my car and someone stole it. So I was like, okay, it's one pair of shoes down. I had one pair left for this journey. All the people I was road tripping with were all barefoot. If you've watched any of the vlogs from that time, 2015 road trip, you'll notice that all my friends are barefoot pretty much all the time. They inspired me, like they, they were all happy people. They seemed to be walking fine without shoes. So I don't know what it was, I think I just felt called to do it. So I grabbed my shoes, threw them down a cliff into a river. I know that's probably not the most uh, eco-friendly way to get rid of shoes, but I did it. And that was the last time I ever wore shoes. Now you've seen me wearing flip-flops and stuff like that. I'll, always, I'll wear things so long as the tops of my feet are still exposed because I can slip in and out of those things easily and my feet aren't getting crushed. So that's kind of how it happened and then I never went back. I just bought a bunch of flip-flops and just, yeah, I've never really gone back to the shoe life. And the only thing I miss about shoes is the fact that I could bike very easily in them. I used to BMX back in the day and I also did a lot of parkour back in the day. Now I can't do either of those things until I get another pair of shoes. So I do miss parkour, but I also live in the middle of nowhere, so parkour is not really a thing here. Yeah, let's just walk around and I'll, I'll come up with some stuff. I'll try and share my thoughts on this whole process. My thinking is that like animals always seem happy and they're always barefoot, like all the time. They don't really get a choice in the matter. So why is it that humans feel compelled to wear shoes? Now some people are gonna say it's because it's to keep your feet warm. And I just disagree. I think that people's feet get cold easily because their whole lives they've been wearing socks and shoes, keeping the feet extra warm. People say that your head and your feet regulate the temperature of your body. I disagree with that too. I believe that my feet are always warm, so long as they're moving. As long as the feet are working and the blood circulating, I believe that they don't control the temperature of my body. My body's always warm. Like my feet don't get cold. Now you guys have seen me walk in the snow. I hike mountains barefoot. Like 
my feet generally don't get cold. The only time they might get cold is if they're wet. So do I ever have any issues? Yes. My feet definitely get cut every now and again. Right now they're muddy, so you can't really tell how tough they are, but they're pretty tough. And most things don't cut my feet. The only time something would is if my feet are wet. You know how like, you go in the bath for a long time and your fingers go all shrivelly? Well, you can slice through that so easily, like butter. So it doesn't matter how tough your skin is. If it's wet, it's been soaking for a while, you can slice it. So, yeah, sharp rocks, slate, anything can cut it really, but it heals fast. I mean, I've never had any issues. Another thing people ask about all the time is like ticks. Do I encounter ticks? And I've never personally seen a tick in real life. I've seen them online, but I've never seen a tick in real life. Uh, I never have to pull any out of, out of my dog. Uh, yeah, I, just, I guess Wales is... Well, I've walked barefoot in so many countries, so I don't know if it's... If I'm just super lucky? If they don't want to attach to me for some reason? I don't know. But yeah, ticks are never an issue. Walking around barefoot, I, I don't really get bitten by much. Maybe my ankles get bitten by things, mostly like flying bugs, but... Walking bugs, they just get out of your way, because when you're walking, you, you push a... You put a vibration into the ground, and bugs and stuff that are on the ground can feel that from, from really far away. So they all just kind of get out of your way. You never really have a risk of stepping on a bug or any kind of animal like that. One thing that is fun about the whole barefooting thing is that when I'm walking through nature, because I don't have any like foot, uh, any shoe noises, like when you're wearing shoes, you're quite loud. You're crunching things under your feet. But when I'm like step, stepping, like tiptoeing in the mud, nothing really hears me coming. So I, I always like scare mice and birds and, and rabbits and stuff. They, they just don't expect me to. <laughs> Be walking so quietly. So because I am so quiet when I walk around, it really allows me a chance to kind of listen more when I walk. Like I can really listen to my surroundings and that gives me another like a deeper appreciation for nature because I can hear, I hear, feel, smell everything more intensely because I'm paying attention. Earthing really brings you down into the present moment a lot easier because you can't really ignore the fact you're walking around in nature because I'm feeling it all. Every step I'm... Oh, here's another thing. Here's the trippiest thing. I should have mentioned this ages ago, but basically, your feet work the same way as hands. You can identify things with touch. So the first year of barefooting was really difficult. I would get so exhausted just walking around because my feet are, work... my feet are making my brain work in overdrive because it's constantly trying to identify what is this thing touching my little toe? What is this thing in the middle of my foot? Is it safe to step on? Like my feet are constantly sending messages to my brain. Now when you wear shoes, you don't get any of that. You just stomp around, you kick stuff like nothing matters. It's a very destructive way to, to be, but I don't judge anyone for doing it. I mean, I, always, I wore shoes for many years. It's not so intense on the brain anymore because now I've, I've felt a lot of things and my feet don't have to ask questions anymore. They kind of know what I'm touching. It's the same as walking around on your hands. You're constantly identifying what it is that's brushing against you because you need to know in case there's any danger. So it's so bizarre to try and explain it. But yeah, try it. I mean, go out in nature. Go If you've never tried barefooting in nature, try it. I don't recommend doing it in like a city because concrete doesn't feel so good and not getting any of the benefits if you're stepping on concrete because there's still a layer of concrete between you and the ground. Like earthing, grounding, Barefooting only really works when you're touching the soil or sand or dirt. It's like you have to be connected in that way to get all the benefits. The reason I just don't wear shoes is because I want my feet to be really good at climbing. So I have much better grip now, much better control when I climb. Whether it's rocks, trees, anything really. I have much more power in my climbing because I have I can use my toes as fingers. I can grip stuff better in that way. Kind of like monkeys. I mean, monkeys don't wear shoes and they can climb brilliantly. What I've noticed by making these daily videos is that my speech isn't the best. I need speech lessons. I need to teach myself how to speak proper English. Because I was brought up speaking Welsh, my English isn't very good. And I pronounce things without T's sometimes, but a lot of British people do that. So I'm I'm really emphasizing my T's sometimes because I'm trying to trying to get in the habit trying to get in the habit of pronouncing words correctly because a lot of people out there aren't British and they can't understand what I'm saying half the time because I talk very fast and my words don't always make the sounds they're supposed to make. Uh, that's just a, just a little something. I'm trying, <laughs> basically. I would say English is my second language because I had to relearn everything. I moved from England when I was five, learned Welsh for like 10 years and then try to go back into English. It's difficult. I did all my schooling in Welsh. It's confusing trying to speak. 
and obviously I'm alone all the time so I don't have anyone to speak to that knows proper, proper English. Anyway, back to the earth thing. <laughs> yeah. I had, a, I had a thought. I think the reason that people sexualize feet is because we hide them. We hide feet as much as we hide a penis or a boob. We hide these things and as a result society deems them pleasurable because they're like, oh desirable because it's like a thing that you don't ever see. I've become desensitized to feet. Like I, I obviously I didn't have any attraction to feet before but now I understand why people do and I don't have that because I spend all my time with my feet out. But I, I get it, I get understand why people sexualize these things because as a society we, we hide it. We, and the only way to kind of normalize feet would be to bring them out. But then everyone that's trying to sell feet pics, they're gonna lose out of money if people stop sexualizing these things. Thorns, holly, yeah, anything spiky really. If it goes into my foot, as long as I don't push down too hard, I'm able to lift my foot off immediately and pull it out. Sometimes I, it goes into my foot and I don't notice. So then later on I'll have to get a, get like a, a th sewing needle and pull it out. But generally my feet are so tough, things don't get stuck in very deep. And I'm able to pull, pull things out. I'm just following Jasper at this point. I, neither of us know where we're going. But it's alright, we haven't been here before, we're exploring. I really wanted to come in the woods today, I don't know why. I think because it was just so windy. There's a car down there. What the heck? Yeah, I think because it was just so windy, I wanted to like get out away from the wind. It looks like we're about to finish the woods though, so. All right, I'm gonna put my camera away, get the dog lead out. So easy to keep my feet clean all the time because I just find rivers or wet grass and I can kind of clean it up. These are all terrain equipment that oh, so many people don't utilize. <laughs> Yo, this is neat. Check this out. That's a slate fence that's been eaten by a tree. The tree does not care. It's completely swallowed it. Wow. I wonder how many years that took. Beast. <laughs> it's so nice. It's hard to describe how nice it is to walk barefoot just in nature. Like, there's so many different textures and it all feels so good on the feet. I just want people to try it. So yeah, my feet. They're a bit cleaner now. Like, they're just, they're just my feet, you know? They're just, they're tough. Broken. Okay, so while I walk home, I'd like to issue a challenge. Anyone who's watching this video, please go and try barefooting. Just go try it one time. Go out in nature, take your shoes and socks off, and then find like a safe path to walk on and try it. Just go for a little, a little walk, like 10 minutes. Give it 10, 15 minutes in nature, just walking through the grass, or the dirt, or anything really. As long as it doesn't feel horrible, um, you might you might really be surprised how you feel afterwards Yeah, go try it and then once you have come back here leave a comment and tell me hey I tried it and then tell me your thoughts like give me a review. Was it decent? Was it okay? Did you hate it? <laughs> so yeah, the reason I stuck with it for so many years is just because it's fun, you know, it's something different Like everyone's doing the same thing that just makes me want to do the complete opposite thing I didn't think I would be doing this for five years, but I I enjoy it, so heck to it. I can't see myself wearing shoes again, really ever. I'm, I'm over it, you know? I'm saving myself money, I'm enjoying myself. I can climb a lot better. I feel healthier, I don't get sick. My toes are expanding again instead of being crushed. to explain properly but I'm gonna try so the way I step uh, I'm always looking like five six steps ahead of where I'm actually stepping I'm never looking directly down I'm trying to look forward 
my toes first, kind of like that. And then if it's prickly, I won't press down. I'll, I'll just hop over like that. Without putting my full weights down, I'll just hop. If it's not prickly, sometimes I walk like this without putting my heels down at all. Depends how, depending on how weak my heels are, sometimes I don't use them. Um, but yeah, generally I'm just kind of toes. I don't know what this part of the foot's called, but this bit first, and then a step down. I'm never like full stomping like that. Let me try and just sh demonstrate. So this is how I can walk without the heels touching. I, I do this a lot when I'm going uphill. And there's no like extra strain on my legs. It's actually quite comfortable to walk like this. Notice how my heels are never touching the ground. That's how I go uphill. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Yeah, I'm always looking a few steps ahead. There's not much else I can say in this video, really. I might just end it here. I'm gonna continue walking home, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this morning's video, which was meant to go up last night. I reacted to my old hair. So if you're interested in seeing that, be on the screen right there. If this video gets 400 likes, I will do whatever the top comment says, so long as it's legal. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my foot journey. <laughs> Barefooting for five years, how crazy. But yeah, give it a go. If you try it, let me know in the comments. If you have tried it before, leave your reviews down in the comments too. Yeah, if you wanna watch yesterday's video, it's on the screen right here. I post every day, so subscribe, share the videos with your friends. You know, maybe I can get some new subscribers, that'd be cool. If you want to join the Discord, Discord link down below. We also now have a section for hiking, so if you want to join us on hikes, there's actually a subcategory in the Discord that you can join. It's like a private role, so you have to tag me if you want to gain access. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.